Did you feel it? A very minor earthquake gently rocked the region last night. Makes it sound pleasant, doesn't it? it does. <laughs> Geologists we spoke with today said you'll be forgiven if you didn't feel it. But the event is really giving us an opportunity to dive into the subject and learn a little bit more about what's behind these kinds of quakes around our area. Here's Scott Broom in Skysville, Maryland. This right here is historic Sykesville, Maryland, which was the epicenter of this mini earthquake that happened just before midnight last night here in Maryland. Did you feel the earthquake last night? I did not. I was dead asleep. Didn't, didn't feel a thing. I did not. But the 9-11 Center in Howard County, Maryland reported a few insomniacs did feel the quake and called them to ask what's going on. The U.S. Geological Survey tweeted the earthquake measured 2.0 on the scale. And it's the first time since August of 2021 the region has had a little shake like this. There was no damage of any kind reported. Richard Ort of the Maryland Geological Survey put this in perspective today. This is not anything that we should expect any kind of harm from or damage. Maryland typically gets two to three, 1.5 to two magnitude earthquakes a year. We get a lot of earthquakes below 1.5, as you, you might expect, except you really can't feel them, so nobody even talks about them. If you've ever spread out a pie crust and it gets too thin, you get a little crack in the pie crust. That's what Maryland's got going on underneath of us. So hundreds of millions of years ago, the, the uh, crust, uh, the earth crust underneath of Maryland was being formed and there are some weak spots in it. Oh, down here at Sykesville Station, we get the train that comes by, so we probably feel that more than the earthquake. Even small earthquakes get our attention because in 2011, a 5.7 quake hit the region, damaging the National Cathedral and Washington Monument. It was the strongest quake east of the Rockies since 1944. Ort says the big challenge is that science in this region simply cannot predict when the next one will happen, no matter how small or big it is. In Sykesville, Maryland, Scott Broom, WUSA 9.